Hi all, welcome to my session again. In our previous sessions, we have learned how to create a Moodle site in GNMAO platform, how to design a Moodle course page, how to add users and how to enroll participants in your Moodle course page. Hope all of you have completed these activities in your course page. In this session, we are going to learn how to design your course page using the available resources and activities in Moodle. We need to deliver e-contents to students in an organized way. Moodle offers so many tools to deliver your e-contents in a systematic way. These are called activities and resources available in Moodle. Before learning these tools, we can see a designed Moodle web page. This will give an idea how the web page needs to be looked like or what changes we need to make in the draft course page. So for that, first we can log on to our Moodle course page. Okay. I need to log on to my website rakeshsb.gnmayor.com You please log on to your individual websites and then log in in the course page using your credentials. So I am giving my credentials to get into my site. This is my dashboard of my course page. So for getting my course, yesterday I told you or in our previous session I discussed with you we need to go to site home. So click on this site home. From that you can access your course Moodle trial. So this is my course page. You can see it is not designed. Only topic 1, topic 2, topic 3 or topic 4 four blocks are there we can customize these blocks according to our logic or according to our design skill we can change these blocks to day activities we can change these blocks to module activities so it's up to you how to customize these blocks that we will discuss in our previous sessions we discussed how to add users in your course page so you can see those users in participants tab. In this course page you can see only student roles are added. So only student roles are added. Three participants are there. So we need to add a user with teacher role. So in a course page you need teacher role and student role. So please add your account as teacher role in this course page. So enroll users again. I am searching my name. So this is my account and I change student role to teacher role and enroll users. So now in my course page, myself as teacher and three students. Okay, then again move to my course home page. This is my course home page. This is not designed. So we need to design this course home page. As I said earlier, we can see another Moodle web page, a designed, already designed Moodle web page. This will give an idea how to design your, your course page with available resources and activities. So we can see a designed Moodle page. This is my personal GNMA account. So this is the Moodle page in GNMAO which I have designed for my semester 5 UG students. So compared with the previous one you can see first block is announcements. Here also the first block is announcement and I change the second block with this topic 1 customized that topic 1 with course notice board. I use that block to display notices to students. Then I change topic to block for discussion forum. So I included discussion forum tools in the topic 2. Then I change topic 3 block 
to include a course overview details which include course introduction, vision and mission. After that, I supplied the lesson contents to students. This is one of the many ways to design your course page. So first an attendance module, then a course notice board, a discussion forum, then a course overview. So it will explain the course outcome and course resources and activities. Then you can deliver your e-contents using the resource tools. Here I used, you can see, unit format to supply the e-contents. So for that particular unit, I supplied all the e-contents with two modules. You can change this unit wise division to day wise. So in this course, I used day options. So I supplied topics day wise. You can use week wise. So it's up to you how to customize this topic block. In, in my another course, I used a single block specially dedicated for exams. So in this blocks, I added all the tools to conduct exams so that I can easily find out how, how many exams I have conducted for the students. So in this way, you can design your Moodle course page as you wish. These are the many ways to design a Moodle course page. So you can design as you wish. One thing is that you must have an idea how your course page needs to be looked like. So this is one, one format with an attendance block, then a notice board block, discussion forum block, a course overview block, then a block dedicated to deliver your e-content. I am going to design this course page in this format using the activities and resources available in Moodle. In Moodle, you can find two types of tools to design your course page. They are resource tools and activity tools. Resource tools can be used to supply the lesson contents to students. Using resource tools, you can deliver video content, audio content, text, website URLs to students in a better way. For example, for resource tools are book tools, file, page, label, etc. Next is activity tools. It can be widely used to evaluate students' academic progress. So mainly they are evaluation tools. Example, assignment. Assignment tool is there, assignment, choose tools, attendance tools, etc. So these are the different tools available in Moodle course space to design your website.